So I gone by myself and my sister, and we gone past our marker, which is a fallen down branch on the trail, the deer trail behind our rock slime mountain. And we gone past this, the marker to a sunspot, and we tried to follow the same deer trail, but we took a wrong turn, and it led us to this other sunspot. We forgot that no one should pass that marker, so... But I just wanted a little more adventure, but I said to go a little farther. The first day and night that they were missing, I was told to stay at the house, not to go out searching and in case they came home or and they needed to coordinate anything with the, the huge posse of people that were helping. And that was the most difficult thing of my life. The country we live in is just ravines and steep hills. I mean, you can see something that's a quarter mile away, it's gonna take you four hours to get there, you know. It's, it's very rugged territory and it's amazing how much distance they covered. The huckleberry brush was so thick, I had to pull my rain jacket and my hood over my face, get down on my stomach and crawl like a snake. My sister cried the whole night, and so I told her to think happy thoughts of our family and I kept to watch for most of the night. And I just kept saying, that I just wanted my babies back. But I knew Dad found us, eventually. We were calling occasionally and we'd stop and listen. We heard some crackling in the brush and so we kind of stopped. And from there, I thought we heard someone say, Dad, and so, then we called out again and they said, yes, we're right here. We're not gonna go on a hike until we get those GPS trackers. I'm trying not to punish them really, really hard. <laughs> trying not, because they did the right thing. I mean, they, they might've wandered off, but they stuck together and they, they pulled themselves through. They saved each other.